What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast as you can see we're here on Unison League and this is going to be the video for the 55 AP event run that um, is going on right now. I think it's called something like um, Halloween Arcadia or something Haunted Arcadia, something like this. But um, basically I, uh, we started this run and I came in a little bit late but uh, at this point basically what happened is um, the healer Sephiroth uh, got his unison off of the first wave uh, really quickly and then he uses his Valk at the beginning here. So basically that's pretty much what you want to do is uh, use your buff as soon as you can. Either a Valk or um, you can use the Witch if you have them. Anything that's going to buff your team ups uh, on the defensive side as well as their damage. Um, you can do that. That, uh, basically you're just trying to get a good amount of uh, mitigation on your team so you're popping your unisons um, as fast as you can so that you can get a good buffer of mitigation between you and your enemy okay um, so that's pretty much where we're at right now um, we are trying to get a good amount of unison before we uh, get to the next wave but we also uh, do have the unison now alright so Rico actually pops the the uh, Kagatsushi, or as they call him, KFC, because he looks like the KFC chicken. Uh, he has the same colors as the KFC logo, and he's like a chicken looking like, so the people call him KFC. So that is uh, what we're popping for this. Um, the Kagatsushi is something that you need for this. Um, Azen is really good for this as well. Um, Ama is also very good for this. And then Valkyries are good uh, also. So, um, you don't particularly need haste for this, uh, you can just use your unisons, um, you know, staggering the waves. So basically, you're just using uh, one after the other, like um, Sephiroth is saying there, slow and steady, um, attacking between unisons. So everybody goes and attacks right here, and then... Um, you know, you just use your staggering unisons. We also, we have buffs up and we have an anima up. We did two attacks between that unison there. And then we're, um, popping the Valk. So we get another, uh, four buffs up and our mitigation is even increased more. Uh, we are using one healer for this. And as you can see, uh, on my bar, I have a heal and balance, uh, using heal just in case for situations where, uh, Sephiroth's in trouble in the healing sense or uh, he is actually being um, CC'd which is crowd controlled meaning that his status is like paralyzed or confused or uh, maybe he has a heal uh, negation on him um, which is the curse so basically um, we're, as you're gonna uh, see through this we're using a combination of uh, Azen, um, Ama Turetsu um, the Kagatsushi when the ward actually is uh, gone and then uh, Valkyries so just depending on what you um, have that's what you're gonna take I would suggest you should take a Kagatsushi uh, or an Azen you have to have one of those two I would say um, to easily do the run you probably could do it without it if you're just using Amas and um, and Valkyries however it's not uh, recommended like if, if you could you you definitely want to take a Kagatsushi or an Aizen so um, this run is pretty much um, like Sephiroth said slow and steady we are using our unisons um, staggering on every round um, but like on this round right here I would suggest you pop your ammo as soon as you can because look at that that's five gators so uh, you definitely want to have at least one buff up on this round. Uh, those gators will do uh, AoE attacks just like that. And look, Ghost almost went down right there. If he didn't have the Kagatsushi up, he might have uh, went down. If they crit him, for sure. So say if like one or two of those guys crit, and then the other guy came in and finished him off, then the Emma, uh, the Emma is what was going to save him there. Um... You know, also the Emma right there, it was 30%, right? So he took like a really high amount of damage. He could have died if I hadn't popped that Emma right there. So you just got to make sure uh, you kind of... Right there, he's calling... Uh, Sephiroth's actually calling for the unison. 
Uh, that's because he probably didn't have uh, his heal cooldowns up, or he just wanted um, one person to pop unison, and then we're going to save and stagger the rest. So, looks like we popped the unison right there. We didn't really need one right there, as, it, as we did have those um, only two crocs left, but... Um, you know, it wasn't too too bad because uh, we still have, you know, only on the third wave. And we do have three unison still, so it's not the worst uh, case situation. Uh, it's not the worst scenario. So, um, right there we could have actually uh, saved that croc and let him attack us. So that our unison would get back up, but we actually pushed it anyways, so it's not too, but it's not too too bad. So right there, uh, we used the Emma, Emma right after we attacked once, that's a good uh, way to do it. Uh, using a unison, then attacking, then using a unison again is something that uh, is a good strategy. You don't have to um, use a unison and then use an, another unison right afterwards because if you use a unison and then not attack, you're kind of wasting time. Uh, you're wasting the buffs of the previous unison. So you definitely want to keep like one or two attacks between each unison and it'll really help you out uh, in terms of having a uh, maximized DPS as well as maximizing the stagger potential of each of the um, of the uh, monsters that you're using there. So um, I'm just holding it, uh, holding the uh, unison here and then I, um, I'm saying we should hold for uh, uni, like, are we gonna hold for uni? We should probably hold here um, on this this uh, unicorn here. So we're just, I'm just making sure that everybody knows, like, hey, uh, let's hold this for a little bit. Uh, hold for cost. Hold for uni. Sephiroth saying hold for cost. So it's a good idea to like have an have a, a knowledge, an idea of what your uh, team is actually at like uh, Sephiroth says tell me when thumbs up when you're at 70 so you know that everybody has cost you know that everybody has unison if you're looking at their bars um, making sure everybody is at a good point to go to the next stage um, if you take a look actually on the top uh, right there's a really big time window and the the chest is actually pretty long down the line so you don't have to do this really fast. You can take your time on it. And again, uh, taking a time on the um, event is actually not bad because your proficiency is going to go higher as the time goes up, right? Um, so at this point, we are kind of killing him slowly. Uh, we got a good amount of unison up here, guys. We don't have everyone ha doesn't have unison, but um, as you can see, all the wards are still up, and we still have two unisons here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just unison off the bat. I, did, I could have probably attacked before I unisoned, but, um, but then uh, I just kind of wanted to make sure that we didn't get killed. Because honestly, these in the mains do a really high amount of burst single target damage. So I just you know popped it preemptively. I didn't want anybody to get bursted down by say if two unit two domains like say one critted and then takes off the ward and then another one hits, then I, I just put it up. Um, I was just being a little bit extra cautious, but uh, you might you actually probably could attack before you use your unison on most in most situations here. So just putting our uh, damage up right now. Make sure you're targeting the same uh, Nemean. You don't want to, you know, uh, split DPS on these as um, once they get lower they actually use their wing blessing and then they do extra high damage. So again just staggering um, pretty much all the way. Killing off the Nemeans. Wing blessing goes out on Nemean. That's when you want to make sure those go down. Right now he's uh, Sephiroth using Azen. And um, I almost have my uni up. So the Asian is doing work right now, um, no damage going out for the Ignis. Puts his flame boost up. We just are trying to get through the phase without getting debuffed, so we actually just uh, kill him off. We And we also have the Asian buff up. I'm always looking at the uh, log just to make sure that I have uh, an idea of what um, people are, are talking about to me about asking me to hold it asking when I'm supposed to use it when not to 
So I basically use my ammo here just because uh, people are getting debuffed. So I'm just doing it, you know, um, as I see the debuff go, you put you put the ammo up, right? You don't want anybody to be debuffed um, at this time. So basically, uh, at this point, we are just again staggering, staggering uh, unisons and uh, attacking between each unison. Make sure you guys are uh, looking at that. Looks like an ammo went goes out here. Uh, yes, staggering again. Sephiroth uses recovery on himself, and we're gonna kill the Drake Lord off. All right. So uh, Drake Lord is getting uh, killed off. Azin goes back up. Sephiroth's calling for a uh, no unison or the blue X. Blue X is usually nothing like stop or um, no unison. So Ghost is holding the unison for next round. We definitely want to kill this guy off though because um, he does a good amount of damage. You don't want to uh, hold here. Um, so yeah, the Asians, Asians just wore off. Drake Lord goes down. Starla and I are almost at a uh, unison point. So we're going to attack here, then he's going to ammo. So attacks, then he's going to use his ammo. Alright, perfect. And then look at my unison's already uh, 99, so I can actually attack and then use the ammo. So I'm going to go ahead and attack, then I use the ammo. Um, so we, at this point, we actually could uh, have hold, held one of the ammos. Uh, however, we do have... Um, you know full buff right now and then if we kill the demon lord uh, or yeah demon lord diablos or diablo we we can actually hold on the taurus the taurus isn't that crazy damage uh, but the demon lord does do high damage so you need to watch out for the demon lord but at this point we have nine buffs so we don't have to uh, wait at all just go straight ham on the demon lord and then we can hold off on dpsing the taurus um, once he's down. So look at all that damage that the Demon Lord does. Even though the um, even though we have six buff ammo reflection up, we uh, the Demon Lord is still doing a huge amount of damage. So um, if I actually held that, I don't know if we would have been able to survive um, through. Um, we do have the Kagatsushi still up, but the Demon Lord does do a high amount of damage, and then the Taurus actually does an AOE. So, you know, if we, if we didn't have those six, uh, we might have died there. Alright, so now we're uh, holding for uh, cost as well as unisons, because the next round obviously is the boss round, right? At 8 out of 8. So at this point, we're just holding for unisons, making sure that uh, we have a good amount of cost and the unison up at the uh, right time. So, uh, as you can see, I actually didn't use my cure pretty much this whole time. I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to need it or not. But uh, uh, you could actually switch the cure out with um, like something like a hunt, or you can switch it out with something like a, um, a, a cheer, or uh, maybe like a mass refresh or something like this. But... Um, you can also just keep it as cure just in case your healer isn't as good as Sephiroth is uh, or he's having trouble or he doesn't have dignity yet something like that but uh, at this point we're just gonna slow DPS the uh, Taurus down as we do have um, max maxima, uh, maximal cost like high, high amount of cost and we do have a good amount of unison as well so I just want to hold here and I'm also holding some damage. I'm, I'm trying to keep it above like 90 almost, like 80, 90 cost. I'd like to have about a really high amount of cost for the next round just because I want to burst down this boss as soon as possible. He does a huge amount of AoE burst and uh, I'm going to hold my cost for it. So here we go. All right, so this boss is coming up. I didn't. I honestly didn't want to use a uh, balance there because I, I wanted to use um, keep it for the boss. I didn't know if it was going to be up at the same time um, 
for the next, but you guys can use balance in the beginning if he does uh, use his um, his buff there, the Taurus guy, but um, honestly, I saw Kagatsushi on it. I, I knew that the, the heals were going to be up. I knew that Sephiroth had cost, and if this guy uses a buff in the beginning, I didn't know because I hadn't fought him before. If, you know, maybe he uses buff really quick. So, uh, Sephiroth's just telling me stagger when I, uh, when I see fit, but I'm just gonna hold it until I see, uh, people actually taking damage. And, so I just wanna have the angel down before I do any staggering or anything. I see that Sephiroth has his uni up, and I'm like, okay, he's gonna use his AA recovery. When, when he uses, right there, dignity, I'm like, okay. This is a good time to uh, unison, so he unisons, right? So that's that's fine. So I'm waiting. I'm kind of looking at Sephiroth and looking at his uh, his uh, healing, but I need to get DPS off right now because my cost is at 100, right? So right now I'm looking at Sephiroth. I, w I want uh, his Azen to get kind of hit off a bit first, um, but I'm I right there. I'm like, okay, cool. He he got um, a couple of the Azens got hit off. Now I'm going to use my um, my ammo just so that I can start building uni again. Uh, and I look at my cost guys, it's at 100 right now. So perfect, I'm able to do more damage now. Well, okay, well, I'm looking at uh, the boss, making sure that he's not using um, the buff. Because if he uses the buff right now, he's not going to be able... Um, he's going to kill us in one hit, so I'm going to be able to balance it like instantly right when he gets the buff off all right so i'm i'm kind of like not dbsing fully i'm kind of kind of going in between and saying you know uh let me let me look at the boss let me look at uh the buffs and then i'm just making sure that i get um a good amount of time in between attacks so i'm like okay okay let me see all right that's not it that's not the buff so there it is the ammo and um that's going to take off all the paralyzes. That was a really good ammo usage. And I'm keeping my cost high just in case I, I can burn him at the bottom. So there it is. That's the uh, Eternal Nightmare. I'm like, okay, this works. And then it looks like I don't even have to balance at this point. But this was semi-lucky that he didn't use it. But I was I was always ready to balance if, if I needed to. But it looks like right here we should be able to just burst him down here. All right. And Lilith's gonna probably gonna finish him off there. So just right on point, um, Ghost actually his um, his Kagasushi was taken out. So that was um, saved. And then me, I also my Kagasushi was taken out. So I actually would have died there if Kagasushi wasn't up. And that was how the run is, guys. Uh, it was actually the first time a um, couple of us have done it. So definitely could be improved on. I'm sure you guys can see. Uh, the video and see certain parts where you would improve on it. Uh, I know I see a lot of parts where I can um, improve. I probably could have done a lot more DPS, but I was I was really really scared that he was going to buff and I was going to be in the middle of an attack, and then my uh, balance wasn't going to come out on time. So that's why I was kind of like, uh, in the, at this point in the video, I'm kind of like um, holding off on attacking. And like you see, I, I go over there to to the side to balance. I'm like, okay, should I? I'm going right and left, right and left, making sure that I uh, do balancing correctly. So a lot of the time, I'm like, kind of thinking, all right, should I unison now? Should I unison now? And I'm like, okay, I'll unison now since he's. Um, I'm gonna go do it before Starla does. You know, just just staying on my toes and making sure that I have. Um, quick reaction if he does buff he indeed does buff I'm the one who's needed to take it off so I just didn't I just wanted to make sure that I had that up uh, a lot of the times uh, you need to be really really quick on that buff before uh, he just one shots you so that's why I'm just kind of hovering over the balancing so yeah guys that's gonna be about it for this one uh, the announcement actually I, I have to make is um, uh, my main character is actually no longer in PKK, even though he does still have the tag. I did join uh, Kremier, or it's, I think, called right now. There's a bunch of different um, things they're called right now. The Final Cream is what it is right now, TFC, I think it is. 
But uh, I'm not sure exactly what they're going to end up uh, calling themselves. But in the RGB, it was uh, Cremier or Cremier. I don't know how, uh, you know, really to pronounce that. But um, yeah, that is the new guild, guys. Definitely look out for us uh, as we do our uh, awesome new meta that I'm actually going to show you guys tomorrow. It's going to be a really awesome RGB, or not RGB, but uh, guild battle. A video which I am going to reveal the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate meta of the game um, that we just came up with recently and it involves something uh, really awesome. I'm just going to give you a hint. It's just bling bling is the hint. Alright, so um, let me go ahead and uh, get into that uh, next. Definitely check out that next video, guys. Awesome. Uh, to have you guys as always um, If you guys want to hit up the comments below and tell me what the next video should be definitely do that as well as tell me uh, what you guys want in um, In the comments just say like hey, you know, what's up? Uh, I want I want this and that that'd be cool All right, uh, I think that's it for this one guys uh, as always thank you guys all for watching and Take it easy. Peace